I know I always find something new and I kind of like to share like oh this is great you should wear it and I also don't keep clothes for very long I'll sell them and uh, or give them away to friends or my sister or my sisters-in-law and um, I think it has to do with moving around so much my whole life mm -hmm. um, I don't really get attached to to material things there's always some other beautiful thing that I'll find I'm from Mexico City I moved um, to the US when I was 11 years old and um, I lived in Paris, France for a couple of years when I was in my early 20s mm -hmm. and then I moved back to LA and I've been here for eight years now. Every vacation we would travel with my parents and we would go to different places in Mexico. And growing up around beautiful textiles all the time, looking at especially the indigenous people in Mexico, um, admiring their costumes, not their costumes, their, their everyday wear, but to mm -hmm. me it looked like a beautiful costume. Um, it's just something that I feel like they just always look so beautiful mm -hmm. and they always um, use a lot of color. Right out of high school I went to cosmetology school mm -hmm. and I started doing hair um, just out of my house. Yeah, I trade a lot with my clients. I have a lot of friends that are um, artists and we trade for haircuts or hair color and I'll get art or jewelry or um, clothes. I was really into wearing moccas and general and shoes. And, um, but I felt like every time I wore them, they were mostly Native American and I felt a little bit like I was in a costume. A lot of the times too, they were too fragile to be wearing every day. And mm -hmm. I found a man in Mexico City who was making beautiful shoes at this mm -hmm. open air market. We had a really good connection and uh, I said, I would love to import your shoes to the US. When I wear my shoes, people love them. And he said, um, you should just make your, design your own and I'll make them for you. Mm. So, um, so I did and, and he makes them for me and uh, we have a really good relationship. I have a lot of different hobbies. One of them is weaving and uh, so I love textiles and I really appreciate all the handmade things. Everything that's like hand dyed or embroidered or crocheted or knitted, anything like that. Is, really something that I uh, obsess over. This is something I wove in a loom and it took me a really long time because I'm very slow. When I had my daughter it was really nice to wrap her in it and yeah I love everything else. I love basket weaving and I love loom weaving and I love embroidering. This ring here was designed by my partner Ramsey and uh, he gave this to me when I, I think when I turned 27. He's made me a whole bunch of rings. Yeah, that's one of his hobbies. He makes lost wax castings. Mm. Um, so he makes a lot of rings and then he also makes sculptures. I feel the need for a certain shoe. I think like, oh, I would love to have this kind of just slip on. Mm -hmm. And um, so I look around and I'm like, oh, I love espadrilles and I kind of love the Chinese men's slipper. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make one that's mm -hmm. kind of like that, but you know, with our own style, my own style. I started making... Um, shoes for little kids since mm -hmm. I have a daughter I wanted to I wanted her to have beautiful handmade shoes so sometimes I'll make her a shoe and then I want it like I made her this little Mary Janes and then I thought I need to have some Mary Janes too and then I made them in cobalt blue now all, all my friends want cobalt blue Mary Janes mm -hmm. even though I've been here for most of my life now I feel like I still feel like that I am Mexican. I was born here, but I grew up there. And my, my family's from Mexico, my parents are from Mexico, and um, I feel like definitely my culture and my roots are Mexican. Mm. I grew up eating delicious food. My family, uh, the women in my family are very good cooks. My aunts, my grandmother, my mother, they all are very, very talented in the kitchen. And I grew up experiencing lots of flavors, lots of texture. And usually I feel that if I have only a little bit of things, the food will usually come out better. The more ingredients I have, I think the harder I try, the more I add. And, and it's nicer when it's a little bit more simple. Learning to adapt has been a good thing to learn. Because since I had to move a lot, at first when I was young, it was really difficult to, um, to uh, find new friends every time you know, to be moved. Um, and at first it was kind of painful leaving old friends and having to make new ones, but I think now it's a good thing. It's like I can make friends fast and make 
make connections fast. It's nice to go and experience other people and other cultures and and see the way other people live life yeah. and how they experience life. In Europe, people ha take the time to relax and, and it seems like working is not as important as it is here. Mm -hmm. Time spent with friends and families is uh, more important than going to work. I try to live life that way. I love making things. I love, I feel like a, a huge sense of pride when I, I can say, Oh, you like this? I made it! And no matter how broke you are or you know how uh, what's going on in your life, I feel like you could always just pick up a piece of clay and mold something and it makes you feel good and, and then sometimes you can use it or sometimes you can just stare at it and then and wonder like wow, what was I thinking? Like, you know, that came out of me, that came out of like some feeling deep inside and you know, you can kind of make it physical.